pick it up right where we left off. Here's the DIY spray booth made out of a 6x4 marquee. It's the first sunny day in a long time and I want to get a couple of uh, coats of primer on. Alright, we've got from Super Cheap Auto uh, primer. And I bought this funky new Wagner W100 um, 240 volt sprayer. Okay. Good start. Ooh. It does its balance on. Only balance. You enjoying the standing? Oh yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> 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 so, just finished final prep for the red coat, and I do not enjoy wet sanding. 800 wet sand and the whole thing, She's bloody smooth. One final wipe down with the wax and grease remover. 500 mil of color spec acrylic automotive paint. Get 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 it, boy. Haha. <laughs> That's how we doing it And the rest of the S-Y-D, yeah Ayy, we let them know that the one stand for the I The D stand for the day The A stand for all The golden question of why we Bring her home, bring her, bring her, bring her home Yeah, yeah, yeah Sit all the ass for his one day Make it last, make it pass stamps When I pass, I'ma take a five stamps in my passport Take it out to Asia where they pay to make you barter for Worked off our little ass for We did, took a little sound from the ground up Thank you fame, look how my lane changed Look at us now, look at the crew We ride till there's no rides left Or we ride till we pull Pop blue, yeah, you did. See the kings of the scene in my dreams flying away in the wings of the obscene. So they look like who? Yours truly, who we look like new. So when I west with who I owe to my successors, the spray painted name, the game you lames took 10 years to tame. We done took like two S S, yes, I uh, J I uh, double M Y live while you play a hollow. We do it for the cool kids and the hip hop kids to the So it's a three part comparison clear coat, untouched. And then this is wet sanded with 800. How very, very matte it becomes with wet sanding, but a very even spread of the red. Very little orange peel at all. And this is buffed and polished. God, it hurts to drill into a freshly finished fiberglass painted surface, but I'm gonna do it. I will do it, uh, and that's fine, because A, I can hide the, the damage that I'm about to create, um, and B, any water infiltration doesn't matter, because it's, it's not below deck, there's no wood down there. Um, would I put holes in my freshly made floor? Absolutely not. A lot of people like to let's screw this and that into the back of the transom. That's a great fucking idea. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I've seen what happens to wood. And even a little bit of water, water gets in there. Oh yeah. If you remember about seven months ago, me pulling everything off, putting them in little plastic bags and labeling them. Oh, there we go. They're still there. So I just spent the last seven hours sanding and polishing this windscreen bastard. It was this it was aluminium underneath with the, this you know, powder coat rubbish that stuck to it like shit to a blanket. Anyway, I had a look at myself in the mirror. So in reattaching the windscreen, I've got these little L brackets that are bendable. Um, worth saying that I don't know if this is going to work, you know, uh, if it's got enough tensile strength in the waves and stuff, but it was the most obvious thing for my little brain. Firstly, I'm going to make a little bit of this painter's tape um, on the um, brackets just to try and minimise scratching, but as I learnt last night, um, scratching is almost inevitable. In fact, it is inevitable with this soft, bloody automotive paint. It remains to be seen if the car paint um, gets any harder 
um, but at the moment it's very very soft any little bit of scratchiness on it and it, it leaving little yeah i'll give you a look if i can see but yeah this tiny tiny nicks as soon as you rest something hard against it so you know god forbid you put a, a, a chain on there or a fender with some little you know plastic brackets it's going to scratch at this point so that ends the brakes huh. the idea is she goes on like that and on the inside she looks a little like this it's got a real lean so i'm going to bend those brackets right the way down all right high tech temporary painters tape jig Charlie gonna jump off here. Woo! Look at the esky. Or oh, ice cooler in America. Cooler. We got my cooler. In Australia, we call it a fucking esky, mate. G'day. Look at this. Damn, it looks good. God damn. Start to put the stereo back in, but a little bit of sanding. No, a little bit of polishing left, just to do on the inside. So, I bought this bad boy from Super Cheap Auto. 120 bucks. I started with a DA um, sand, it was absolutely freaking useless, and I took it back. So I've just got the stock sander one, and I'm using Meguiar's Ultimate Compound. This is one step forward towards the light, away from that light. I want to see more, but slave for that place of one thing. Four foot, four foot, the heat to lay your door. Talk with an avant garde touch, you can't fathom, but you can trust that we back on par. Hard work, sort of bat on pass down to masters to advance. You have kerfuffling garage boy in his natural habitat. Fuck off. Sick of your shit. It's great to see him away from the television. Without a beer in his hand. <laughs> but when he is, he's out here in the wild. <laughs> so, we've completed the rub rails. And I went to Whitworth yesterday and bought these little plastic end caps, which I've screwed on over the top. Um, so they're they're good enough. Um, and I'm happy how they turned out. So to get it to bend around the corner, I actually had to cut the rubber, into, so cut it there, and then glue them on separately. But they were left looking quite ugly. Uh, so the end caps are to hide those ugly ends on them. All right, and today. Um, is the day, it's been a long time since I've done any fiberglassing, um, so we're putting in the Ford bulkhead, it's not really structural. It is to hold the stereo speakers and that's going to go in there, so. Possibly not my best bit of fiberglass work, but uh, we're going to cover up with carpet anyway. Well, I've moved living locations, but that doesn't matter, the project comes with us. Right. I've had two coffees today and I'm fucking flying. This is going either in the bin or I'm going to sell, hopefully sell for parts. Yeah, that's going, picking up a new one in a couple of days. What have we done? All right, carpet's in, but not stuck down. Um, so, measured out where the two front seats go. They're off an old 90s Riviera. That's still in pretty good nick. Um, real comfy. So, I've made little bases for them, and here they are gluing with a few screws in them. And when those G clamps come off, I will be fiberglassing them in. Put some putty underneath, and in they go, and then I'll be um, layering chop strand over the top. The benefit of this is I spent so long making this thing damn watertight that I will not, hear me, will not screw a single fucking thing into that deck. The seats will screw into this, and this will only glue to the deck. I'll show you how I did the carpet. Um, I cut it so it's uh, around there. Same on that side. We we'll pull the carpet back. Um, and now this is where I'm going to fiberglass the seat bases to. And what are we going to do? We're going to scuff it up. Okay. My business is the sunlight I'm the exposure but um, only when it's step control. two I've been after scuffing up the deck um, I've put in the all I wood bases given so it's the next morning um, and they've finally kicked off and dried 
Um, they're a bit ugly. So I'm going to put a layer of flow coat over the top. So yeah, you don't want it um, coagulating in big, big, big lots like that. You want to get it smoothed out straight away. And that'll slow drying time down. Lose half of what I own. I've been thinking about my vision. Welcome to Amateur Hour. Here we have Adam trying to fix his polishing fuck up. <laughs> Super happy. It, uh, it turned out exactly as I was hoping. Um, so the seat will sit over there and we'll cover that for um, I've made a little drink holder for the front. Um, and today I shaved the sides down. It's just made of bendy balsa wood. Um, and I've just flow coated it. I finished making the. Check that out. Just go in there like that. Drink holders. They just sit in there like that. Um, and the stereo. So, it's still to put brackets there. It's still to get stuck in. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's the basic idea. So, I just did my first bit of carpeting. Worked pretty well. Alright, one seat in. And the second forward seat's going in. I've done little pilot holes. And bang, bang, bang. They're in. Uh, oh, yeah.